We have tried to make Destiny a team organization that participates in all aspects of paintball. Not only has our membership extended internationally, being diverse geographically, but also diverse in the many different ways to play paintball. And thankfully, the NXL provides more than just one format for players to compete in. Saturday, November 9th, the 10-man competition began because typically the NXL anticipates a larger than normal attendance in that division. Otherwise, 10-man at any other NXL event besides Cup is conducted on Sunday only. We played in the amateur 10-man division at World Cup and were one of 36 teams in that division alone, with 15 more 10-man teams in the open division. Playing for Destiny Army in the 10-man, we actually had a total of 18 players. Yep, that is a lot. But thanks to Lindsay Pike and Josh Pelletier, both from Canada, along with Philip Cole and Laura Womack of Phil's Paintball out of Louisiana, things actually went pretty smoothly. Now, keeping track of who's who and especially making the decision as to who's playing, that's a feat in and of itself. Just making sure you have the right number of players on the field, counting out one, two, three, how many were going out on the field and what each person's role was, well, you get the picture. match if they do all well up and they're gonna probably turn around and play the next game as well and like let's let these guys go and kill some and like let's we'll play more tomorrow. Yeah. So how much time do you think we have? Yeah. I'd say we got 10, 15 minutes. posted on them, but yeah. wasn't much I could do. I was just sitting down the tape, man. I did. Yeah. Yeah. They aren't coming down there, but yeah. when they get into this, it's, it's tough. Mm -hmm. I have to catch them like the right moment. Yeah. That was good shit, though. Oh, yeah. So I think the best game plan at this point is to shoot them and not get shot. Usually, if you, if you shoot them first, we win. That's Got that on camera here. Yeah. Hey, good coaching. Yeah. Right? Believe it or not, playing against a former pro team like the Philadelphia All-Americans is a huge honor. It's important to note, too, that this same squad of paintball legends were also playing the Moundsfield division during the exact same time, which did have an effect on the schedule. It 
also didn't help that we were assessed three minor penalties against us in that Philly Americans matchup. Playing in the 10-man is definitely a lot of fun, and this particular 10-man team made quite an impact. We had four wins and four losses in prelims, and we were hoping to squeak in, but unfortunately we missed the Sunday cut. Of course, who doesn't want to walk away champions, maybe get some cash back from the money put in to make the event possible. But in all honesty, a majority of us who still participate in the 10-man format, we do it because of the obvious fun and thought of having so many more opponents to shoot at. But also for some of us older players, it's about the nostalgia and that goodness that comes from the old school experience. Speaking of old school, Destiny has had more than a handful of guest players that have made quite a name for themselves in the world of paintball. Legends like Mike Bruno, who at this World Cup event would be coaching the last NXL Pro roster for Rennick Miller's Chicago Aftershock. Make it your game. All right, you control it at your pace, you make them play at your game. After a six win, two loss prelim finish, Destiny's D3 team made it to Sunday. For this particular game, our core players, Nicole Episcopo Nelson, Mikey D. Montigny, Jason Griffith, took the field alongside Bruno and Tim Santi of Wisconsin. And then uh, we got the second point, and uh, the guy came running down the entire uh, field and bunkered me. That was bad. I got the jitters on that one. Tyler Hanlon wasn't the only one with the jitters that day. With a total of 75 other three-man teams in both the open and amateur three-man divisions, of which four of them are destiny teams, many of us also had the jitters too. The D3 five-man team lost in quarterfinals, but they continued to play in the three-man, which is a nice add-on by the NXL to give players an extended chance to keep playing paintball at World Cup. Whoa, 
are all all over the place. Okay, I'll just I'll be right here. Three, okay. three, three, one, two, Stay three. Here. That's it. Find them and find them. Just find them. Yep. Okay. Most of the time people just yell 50 snake and that's right. fine because I'll know what you mean. And, and like the corners, you could either say like corner, you could just be like snake corner, snake corner, Dorito corner. And then who's, who's behind her on the snake? Are you behind the snake? Yeah, you gotta shoot them on me. Uh, yeah, I'm I don't gonna get this one. Should I have a more? Well, it's, it's just do not, don't let her get bunkered.